What's going on, Cartel family? It's your boy, Huncho. Getting ready to bring you guys and girls another reaction video. But before we get into that video, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, hit that bell so you guys always know when I'm posting new videos. Like and comment. Hoping everybody having a good Monday. Happy Halloween. Uh, another thing real quick. Y'all make sure y'all get a Powerball ticket. Um, get a Powerball ticket. I believe the Powerball right now is about at $1 million. So make sure you get your Powerball ticket. But y'all already know how I rock. I'm going to give y'all my honest opinion during and after the video. So let's just go ahead and get straight into this video. Well, this is uh, where a gentleman named Q lives. I spoke to him. He's quite happy to be here, but says he's planning to move soon. So this is the situation in 2022 in Los Angeles. You can basically build your own small wooden house right on Hollywood Boulevard, live in it, continue to refuse offers of city services. Let me pause. Most people around. Oh, also another thing. I'm kind of sick, too, so y'all got to bear with me. I wasn't going to do no video, but I said, let me go ahead and get a video out there for you guys. But let me, uh, this don't look bad for him to be a homeless dude. You know, his construction skills, they, they you know, they, they is what they is. You know, at least he ain't in a tent. You know, he tried to build himself a little tiny house, but let's just get back into it. I'm here are okay with it. Others say it has to go. It's a solid, well-built wooden structure, propped up by metal carts and car batteries. Oh, hold on. He he definitely installed them carts from Home Depot. I know them carts for sure. Let me rewind it real quick. Yeah, this cart right here. He definitely installed that from Home Depot. Home Depot need that cart back, my boy. Because every time I go to Home Depot and I buy some material and stuff, I can't never find no cart. Can never find no cart. This is why right here, homeless people got them. But let's just go ahead and get back into this video. Carts and car batteries. A power cord unplugged trails down the sidewalk, which is piled high with assorted power tools and electronics. Reaction mixed. What do you think of that? I don't like it. It's not good. It's bad. It is a little <laughs> out there, but he is safe and he doesn't have to worry about um, someone burning his tent down. I don't even know like why or how or I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy <laughs> to say the least. Is this okay? It's not okay that it's gotten to this point. The fact that he's here, I don't see an issue with it. Anybody home? After I called the city and the LAPD to see what if anything is being done to help or clean up, police did come and talk to the man. They've been here before. They described him as young, healthy, they offered to connect him with services. He declined. They left, summing up the municipal code. The only enforcement is if a person is blocking the sidewalk on an active driveway or business. City Councilman Mitch O'Farrell says he hopes this can be resolved with what are called care plus teams, which pair comprehensive outreach with sanitation and cleaning services needed to make the public right-of-way safe and accessible. Meantime, across the street, where Jamila Ali and Ranch Shaw run City Vibes Coffee, compassion is still on the menu. He hasn't, like, bothered anyone, and honestly, I'm glad that it's right there because I honestly feel safer with him there. For some reason, I, I don't know why, it's just he feels like... It feels like he's like he knows what he's doing and he's not here to like hurt anyone. Unfortunately, they have to make us a little bit uncomfortable for them to be comfortable. And I think that's just like the problem in L.A. No one realizes how much of a burden it can do to like our mentality yeah. and just um, the way we carry ourselves. Q tells me he's from Kansas City. He's been in L.A. for about three years, been here for a few months. He says he's self-employed. He fixes bikes. He wants to be a mechanical engineer and that he uh, is an army veteran. Uh, Saturday, Alex and uh, Marla, the city tells me they're planning to clean this all up as part of this Care Plus um, program that's had great success here in Hollywood. If you've been to the underpass and Gower on the 101 freeway, all cleaned up. So it's gonna be interesting to see what if anything happens to this man. As I mentioned, uh, he's perfectly happy being here and most of the people around here are happy to have him. Live in Hollywood, I'm Phil Schumann. You know, that um, a face like I don't want him there. Is he not blocking the sidewalk? And secondly, you know, is, is it is it he got plants you know, and everything it looks like a structure there. And, and these are the business owners there have to spend a lot of money in taxes, have to go through permitting processes. Everybody around there that lives there have to pay property taxes. Yeah. Um, does he pay any yeah, property taxes? Uh, 
Oh, hold on, let me pause. It. Hold on. All right, so he getting ready to walk up to the dude, but um, I mean, at least he got it kind of neat down there. He not like trashing in the place and stuff. I mean, y'all just heard old buddy say, you know, he kind of like him being out there. He ain't trashing it, but he got like he got extra sharper carts over here. Yeah, Home Depot need those back, but uh, at least he he got dogs and everything. Damn, let me play the video. Hold on, let's see what's going on. Live on Fox 11, Alex. So we'll, nobody's saying this is a great idea. Hey, we're on live. Thanks for talking with us. Um, what are you What are you doing here, and, and how did this come to be? Well, um, I was originally in a tent, and uh, Brody got when braces. The presentation Hello. Comes, you know, one, Damn. One seven two. Can't pause it on his mouth. Brody got braces in his mouth. He got braces. He he doing something all right. He served in the military, you know, pretty shout out to you for serving, you know, our country. Um, he got braces going on in his mouth and stuff. And they, anybody know braces ain't cheap. So he seemed to have his head on the shoulder. He just happened to be on the streets. You can't look down on nobody just because they on, on the streets and stuff like that. You know, things do happen, you know, so hopefully he end up getting off the street. But. If he chooses to continue to want to be on the street, that's his choice that he decided to make. But let's just get back into this video. I'm going to start talking, y'all. I'm basically going to let this video play out. They, uh, they have you take the tent down and uh, clear all your stuff out. Yeah. And so uh, what I had an idea just to build something on wheels so that way I wouldn't have to... Show us what, what you got here. Well, I mean, where did you get all the material and everything? Home Depot. Well, I got most of the material from, uh, like... A construction site that threw away old wood yeah. and then some uh, some friends of mine that had some wood left over and then there was a shop across the street that had some uh, some old you have electricity in there yeah yeah I've got a generator uh, over here so uh, you've been offered housing temporary housing from the city and other agencies right but yeah. you you prefer this or well um, I, I kind of do prefer this because it, it kind of gives me empowerment uh, a lot of the housing um, yeah, a lot of the housing programs they offer, they put you in like a, what seems like a concentration yeah. camp, and uh, so this you know, is more, this is freedom for you. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's for more freedom. You got plants. Yeah. You yeah. got tapestry. Yeah, I feel like I have more of a way to express my, you know, artist, artist nature and everything. But Q, I mean, you have to understand that a lot of people don't think this belongs here. I mean, this is a public street. Yeah. You know, there are better options for you. Yeah, yeah, there, there's probably a. Uh, a better better places you know than this but i mean i don't th i don't think that i'm bothering anyone here you know um this business isn't even in you know yeah it's an empty building so is yeah. he taking the power so, from, Alex, Marla, from the city i try to keep it he doesn't get a power hello. building hello. and you know hello y'all heard her all right so i already told y'all so i'm gonna sing right about the the news lady he just said that that building is abandoned she just said is he getting building from the power he just said he had a generator a generator runs off gas that supplies its own power. You don't have to tap in into another source to get power to that generator. The generator creates its own power source. So somebody pray for that lady. I sell bikes and I make, you know, motorbikes and electric scooters and stuff yeah. like that. I've fixed uh, several people that live in the neighborhood. I fixed their scooters and stuff like that. So are you happy? Yeah, yeah, I feel good, man. You know, I feel good. I feel like I'm, you know, kind of being an example for people that's in my situation, letting them know that, you know, uh, just because you are living on the streets doesn't mean that you have to just let go, give everything up. You know? Where do you, where do you um, get food and use the, the the bathroom and stuff? Well, I go to local stores and, uh, you know, while I'm out. Hey, let's walk this way, yeah. Hey, yeah, Phil. while I'm out and uh, out. Yeah, I'm out. listening. While I'm out and about, I feel in concern with her. I use the restroom at, you know, different stores and stuff like that. But uh, Go ahead, Marlon. I'm just curious about, but you yeah, know, he has uh, the generator the and the power asking? cord that you showed. You he doesn't get a, a bill, so is he just yeah, so milking food, it from the I, city? Uh, That's how you know. She's, she's uppity. She's one of those uppity people because she's still concerned with this generator of if he's getting power from that building. That building is abandoned. That building probably don't even have no power. That generator that he got can probably give that building power. She's stuck on the whole generator part. That's how you know she's never been down on her luck. She always, you know, had money, had mom and dad, grandparents' money and stuff. 
I'm gonna just let this video play, y'all. I'm done. Yeah, yeah. You know, I sell bikes and. Yeah, no, he's not. No, he's not connected to the city. No, this is a this is a, a generator with. Um, can we peek inside? Or no? Okay. Uh, I'd rather, rather not, man. No, yeah, because I, I don't have it cleaned up, and then it's right, not so, it's not finished. So. so people around here seem to like you. Yeah, yeah. You're you're a super friendly guy. Yeah, yeah. But there's other people guy. that are watching this okay. saying this is ridiculous. Right. Well, I mean, I don't know. You know. Hello, y'all. I said I was done, but hold on. Let me re let me rewind it. What she say? He said something about he a super friendly guy. She said something. What she say? There's other people guy. that are watching this okay. saying this is ridiculous. Hello. Right. Well, I mean, Hello. I don't know. I'd rather, I'd rather not, no, man. Yeah, because I, I don't have it cleaned up. And then it's, right, not, so, it's not finished. So. so people around here seem to like you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, you're a super friendly guy. Yeah, yeah. But there's other people guy. that are watching this okay. saying this is ridiculous. Right. Well, yeah. I, mean, I don't know. She sound like a hater. Where coming from, you know, or why they believe what they believe. But, you know, there was a fire around the corner right here. One of the guys' right. tents caught on fire. And so, you know, that, that probably puts a nasty stain on it. All right. And, and, well, thank you for my, talking with us and sharing some of your story. Go ahead, Marla. Phil, my last question is, you said he was going to move soon. So Phil, he let her, get her off the air, Phil. Where is he moving to? Yeah, you were talking about moving and just like rolling this she, down the side. She's one of those people that want him off the street. Put underneath and uh, move it from out in front of the fence. I got to have this thing moved by tomorrow or the, the police said they're going to take me to jail. So I got to move. So that's why all my stuff's outside right now. So if an agency came to you and said, Q, we got an apartment for you in Hollywood, indoors, services, job training, health benefits, would you take it? Well, I, I kind of I want to start my own business, but uh, as far as the apartment yeah. situation, um, I don't know where I'm going to be able to store all my stuff. And then I do a lot of grinding and welding right. and stuff like that. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's not the best that's uh, solution for you. Yeah, because my generators and my, right. you know, I kind of like that lifestyle. Anyway. All right, Alex Marla, uh, <laughs> slice of life here on the streets of Hollywood. We'll send it back to you. He's resourceful. That's fascinating, Phil. Yeah. That's basically it in that video. Bro just seemed like he got a good head on his shoulder. He just happened to, you know, hit a couple bumps in the road. But y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all think. But until the next video, I'm going to holler at y'all.